Welcome to DIY Saturday with me, your host, Shandera. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas. Welcome to DIY Saturday. Today, we're going to be making a lavender salt bar. Now, many of you who don't know what a salt bar, they're really, really popular. It actually uses salt instead of sugar and soap to make a salt bar. Now, there are a lot of benefits to salt bars that people say, like after a week or two, they're clear up acne, they're very healing, they actually mo put moisture into the skin, and they also exfoliate the skin. So I've noticed that salt bars are very moisturizing, but we're in monsoon season now, you guys, so I'm really excited, and I'm always interested in using different uh, exfoliants and products and so today we're going to be using salt so let's get into what you'll need for this DIY now this bar is going to be sort of a lavender bar because I'm really into lavender lately because you know uh, here in the desert uh, the weather changes from hot to cold to rainy hot to cold hot and like 10 seconds. I, that's kind of over exaggerating, but it in like 24 hours, the weather changed on you just like that. And so during the monsoon seasons, I tend to get very uh, congested congested inside my head. I don't know if that makes sense to any of you, but I get a lot of congestion and it's so it's it's like my head is bloated with air it's really really bad and lavender tends to help me decompress <laughs> i hope this makes sense to you if you're not from arizona because originally i'm from california los angeles and uh the weather, you guys know, if you've been in Cali or you from Cali or you live in Cali, you know the weather, well, L.A. specifically, uh, the weather is just like the same 24-7. And even though I've been here for like six, seven years, uh, I'm still really not used to it at all. So I tend to need to sniff lavender like crazy. And many of you know that... Um, a savvy naturalista is a balance between conventional and uh, not and non-conventional medicines and healings and you know it's just a balance. So I use this a lot to decompress uh, my sinuses, uh, decompress the air that tends to get inside my head. And I don't know if that makes sense, but that's how I can explain it to you guys. So. <laughs> I really love using this bar at nighttime during monsoon season because, okay, you guys, it is a lot of moisture in the air. And when you go from the humidity being at, let's say, 2 to 3%, and then it just drastically goes up to like 20 to 30%, you are literally, it's like you're underwater. It's like you're floating underwater and it's really, really hard to deal with. So that lavender really helps me come down to where I don't feel like I'm floating so much. And it is so hard, especially for anyone who knows what I'm talking about. Just being in the desert, specifically Arizona, is very, very hard. So because of the way the moisture goes up and down and the Phoenix area, because some, de this is not the whole you know, state is a desert. I'm just talking specifically for the Phoenix area. You know what, this is a whole wrap. Let's just get into a little bit for this DIY. I'm just telling you guys why I really love these bars. And if you don't wanna use it for that, and you just wanna use it for to keep you calm and, it's, and help exfoliate the skin at night, then you're here for this DIY. So the first product you will need for this uh, DIY is lavender. Lavender essential oils. You can find these at GNC. You can find it at Amazon, which I've got it from. And you can find it at Sprouts, Whole Foods, anywhere you can find lavender. You can find it. It's really easy to find. Lavender is a lovely scent to decompress, as I've said, when you're feeling like you're underwater. 
No one knows. Um, you will need glycerin. This is sort of to add moisture to the air, although we're in monsoon season. I really don't need moisture in my skin. And I am really grateful for monsoon season. I don't want you guys to think I'm not because I love any the moisture in the air. It's just very hard when the humidity goes from zero to 50 overnight. So you will need glycerin. This is actually to mix with the salt as well. So because when you're using melt and pour salt, which is the next ingredient, the salt tends to sink to the bottom. So adding just a little glycerin will help the salt mix into the bar as well. So you will need glycerin. I found this at Walmart, so you can find glycerin anywhere, anywhere except craft stores, but I found this glycerin at Walmart. And also, fun fact, glycerin helps keep your skin nice and soft as well. So we'll probably be using a lot as fall come because you know, July is just like leaving us like that. Where did July go? Oh, you will also need salt. This is sea salt. I buy this in bulk. You can buy it anywhere. I mean, we already know where to get dead sea salt, but if you don't know, this is just regular dead sea salt. So you will need salt. You will also need melt and pour soap. I'm using a coconut base that I really, really love. You can use any melt and pour you like. You will also need lavender buds. These are lavender buds. You can find lavender buds anywhere. This is, smells just like lavender, you guys. I'm gonna show you a close up of them. They're really tiny. You can barely see them, see you guys. This is just for visual effect to make our bars look really, really pretty. This is just for visual effect. Sometimes people love pretty stuff and this is just to make our bars look pretty. It also adds a little of the lavender on your skin. And when I've used these bars in the shower, I've noticed how when I put a little bit of the lavender buds on my skin, I smell like lavender after, even without the essential oil. So it makes your skin smell so lovely, you guys. You will also need Miracle Glow Oil. You can find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Miracle Glow adds moisture to the soap so it won't dry out the skin. So if you're looking for a nice moisturizing oil that penetrates the skin without making the skin feel greasy, then go and get you some Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Now, let's go make our lavender sea salt bars, you guys. Okay. Woo! So we're getting ready to make our lavender salt bars. Now off camera, all I did was the melting pour part of the soap, I just melted it down. So it's a little warm right now, so we're gonna let it cool for a little bit and we're gonna work on uh, making our salt mixture. Right now I have in here two tablespoons of salt to one tablespoon of glycerin. So we're gonna add the rest of the salt. It's gonna be four tablespoons of salt. And then you wanna add glycerin to the top of it. You wanna add as much glycerin as salt. So I'm just adding about four tablespoons of glycerin, which is probably just a little too much, but it should work. And you wanna add Miracle Glow Oil. We're gonna add 10 drops of Miracle Glow Oil to that. You want, when you add the four tablespoons of salt, all you want to do when you add the glycerin is make sure it's a little bit over the salt. So you want about two to three tablespoons, no more than four of glycerin. And 20 drops of Miracle Glow Oil, of course. And then you're gonna add 10 to 20 drops of lavender essential oils. I'm probably gonna add more because, you know, my sinuses is killing me. So I'm probably just gonna add more. Probably a little later in the process. And you guys can find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Now, all we do is pour this in. You wanna mix it just a little bit. 
just like this just a little bit so it can all be incorporated what you really want to do is make sure the glycerin is incorporated into your salt mixture and it should be goopy so a little like this you guys as you can see close up just like this that's how you want it and then you want to plop that big old blob in there this is pretty much just so the salt can mix into the soap mixture if we're doing more of an exfoliant and this mixture tends to sort of stick to the top I mean to the cup so I want to make sure it's all out got to get it all out you guys see how it's sticky just a little bit so you want to make sure this is all mixed in if you need to reheat it that's fine reheat it because we're working pretty fast I don't think it needs to be heated and this is still pretty warm you just want to make sure it's all mixed in. The reason why I use glycerin, you guys, is because this ensures that most of the salt does not fall to the bottom of the bars like in some melt and pour soaps. This actually expands. You will get a little bit of clumpy, but it expands with the melt and pour soap. It does not seep to the bottom like most salt bars do. So we're gonna set this aside. I would suggest if you don't like the, it being too clumpy because it will be too a little clumps like this see you guys just a little clumpy if you do not like that reheat it just one more time and that's it now we're going to get our molds which you can find at amazon.com and we're going to do lavender for visual effect you can add the lavender to um the mixture if you like just a little bit but i just like it for visual effect because they are so beautiful this way you know people love homemade gifts that are all natural you guys so we're just doing it for visual effect Ooh. okay so we're probably going to do just a little more it's probably two tablespoons to whatever mold you use i've added just a little bit more lavender because i love the smell and i'm obsessed you guys don't understand this is gonna smell so so delicious so one more now right now the mixture is thickening it up so it will be a pretty lumpy but it should perform the same way here we go now we're going to pour let's pour 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 and also if you don't like the bubbles just use alcohol alcohol gets rid of the bubbles see even if you just add a little bit of lavender to it it still looks pretty see how beautiful you guys look how beautiful this is oh and they smell so good looks like cottage cheese sort of I love mixing salt and glycerin to these bars I want to understand oh I have a lot oh I love this just at night before you go to bed just smells so good you guys okay so one more bar and we're good to go All that salt crystallizing of the soap. Okay, so that part is done, and I'm gonna let them set, and I'll be back to a move with you guys. Bye. Okay, so we're back, and I was really, really super excited to photograph these. So I was like, oh, let me hurry up and unmold them. And when I started unmolding them, I was like, oh my God, I forgot to show you guys what they look like. So they're already unmolded because they're just so beautiful and I can't wait to photograph them. 
but I really want to show you guys what they look like and they just smell so beautiful so see how beautiful this one is and that's all the salt I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like but a better looking one see how beautiful look at just amazing See how lovely, it's just a very lovely soap. It has lavender and you could get rid of the bubbles by using alcohol once you're pouring and there's no salt at the bottom. It's not bumpy at all. Thanks to the glycerin. Look how beautiful you guys. I did have a few bumpy because the, it, you know, as we were pouring it actually stuck, but the rest are just so beautiful. And they smell so good. I love the smell of lavender. I just wish I could walk around with the lavender sachet and sniff it all day. So I hope you enjoyed this beautiful tutorial and these lavender salt bars. I'll see you in my next DIY. And make sure you pick up Marico Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye!